Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're back with another Marvel Studios video touching on the MCU and the X-Men and what I expect from casting, when I want to see them, and what I just overall expect from the X-Men coming into the MCU. Um, so let's just dive straight into it. Spoilers ahead. I'm really yeah, it's more about if you've never seen the films. I may touch on a couple of stories, um, plots, characters, that sort of thing, but uh, nothing too spoiler in this. Subscribe and like to miss a Marvel video. Obviously, we cover a lot of different topics on this channel, so be sure to never miss a video. Comment for anything else you want to see from this universe. Let me know what you think down below. And of course, let's just dive straight into the video. So today I thought I'd you know, just jump on and talk about the X-Men. Obviously, their long-awaited enjoyment into the MCU. They've been held hostage by Fox for many years, doing okay in the box office with casting and whatnot. And I want to touch upon the ones I want to see keep their roles and join the MCU. I think there's some great casting options for sure. Uh, I think there's some people who should appear, but not long not long term. And obviously, I want to see a few more characters be recasted. Um, obviously, Deadpool is set to come. Um, I'd love to see Deadpool and the whole bunch of the X-Men from the films. Um, it was Colossus, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead. I'd love to see both of them to keep their roles, uh, but stay within the Deadpool world. I think that... Not Deadpool World per se, but have those X-Men only appear in that film. That's the best way, I think, for it to be. Ryan Reynolds, it was born for that role and needs to be keeping that up with the people he's had on-screen on chemistry with. And that'll work best. I want to see James McAvoy be Professor X on our screen and Michael Fassbender to be our Magneto. Them two with the perfect castings uh, following uh, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. All four of them deserve to be part of the MCU. But what I would say is James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender have to be the long haul ones and be the Magneto of Professor X we see in multiple films who are behind the X-Men films, the mutant films, whatever you want to call it, but they have to be involved. I also think, um, you think his name Ty Sheridan, who plays Cyclops. He was perfect at Cyclops. He's young again, uh, youngish. Um, he looked like Cyclops. He had the char charismatic side to him. Um, yeah, I think he was one of the better roles in the uh, X-Men films, as well as Jennifer Lawrence, who played Raven, or Mystique, whatever you want to call her. Um, she was fantastic. I'm not a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan, but she did this character justice, and she looked kind of accurate. So I believe she definitely deserves another chance at improving herself. And she had a very good relationship with Fassbender and McAvoy on screen. You can see that. And the last one from that franchise has to be Nicholas Halt, who plays the Beast, a very, very good actor. Uh, he's been up for some huge roles over the years. He's lost out to a couple, obviously. But uh, ultimately, he's a very good actor, and he's one of the five who should definitely return. Um, as in, in regards to Sophie Turner, I don't really care for her as Dark Phoenix. She played the role okay. I don't want to see any of the new mutants return. They were good, but it's not something they had to necessarily touch on. Um, if they did come into the world, you know, Jean, uh, Sophie Turner and uh, Maisie Williams, and the rest of the New Mutants, uh, I'd, I'd very, I'd be very happy with it. You know, because New Mutants is a very good film, in my opinion. Uh, very underappreciated, and overhated again. Uh, and the final one I just want to touch on is Evan Peters. I obviously he has returned as uh, obviously a bit of a joke, but I'm hoping he does return, but stays within the Scarlet Witch storyline. We know she's obviously um, gonna be the villain in Doctor Strange but we don't know what involvement Quicksilver will be in if he's in Doctor Strange uh, multi Multiverse of Madness I'm pretty sure he'll rock up at some point and some characters I will like to see rock up in the Multiverse of Madness you know because there's so many people teased um, it's McAvoy's Professor X I'd like to see and I'd like to see Michael Fassbender's Magneto but I also would like to see Hugh Jackman play Wolverine one final time teaming up with uh, maybe Sam Wilson's Captain America. He didn't get the chance to team up with Steve Rogers' Captain America, but, you know, there's still potential for that. For him to team up with Thor, I'd love to see him team up with the, the new Black Panther, the Spider-Man. There's so many people I'd love to see him team up with just for one film or make a cameo appearance. I know he's getting older and he didn't really want to do because of his body, keeping up with the eggs and all that dieting. But I'm pretty sure he'll be able to put his... Um, the iconic suit on for once 
it's probably something he's dreamt about and to look like that would be incredible uh, I'm 100% sure Patrick Stewart and McKellen will have a cameo at some point whether that will be in Multiverse of Madness um, whether it will be a cameo appearance in a future X-Men multiversal film who knows but I'm pretty sure and I hope we get to see them and the final one is Halle Berry I believe she did a brilliant job as Storm in the early X-Men films and she's definitely better than the modern one we got um, so I would definitely like to see those four from the original X-Men films return uh, like Cyclops and Beast and you know all the other characters they didn't really do much for me I'm not a huge original X-Men fan but some of the characters did stand out to me for sure um, yeah and obviously Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is the key for introducing the Fantastic Four members the Illuminati X-Men you know people talk about Ghost Rider I mean, there was a leak talking about John Krasinski walking out as Captain America, picking up Co- uh, um, Agent Carter's shield. If that happens, and I'm so annoyed. He has to play Reed Richard. I mean, and this ultimate thing, I'm always happy with anything we see. You know, if we see some, I'm always happy. Or oh, There's always the, the conversation about Cruz. I'll be talking about that in a couple of days. Too much hate when you've not even seen him do the job. Robert Downey Jr. will always be hard to replace, but... There's always someone who could do a similar job and it's to build on the multiversal franchise. So just deal with it. But yeah, they're the ones, they're the people I want to see um, get their roles back in the X-Men universe. As I said, obviously Reynolds uh, and the rest of the X-Force. So that'd be really cool. I'd love to see the X-Force, X-Men, New Mutants all come to this universe at some point in time. Hugh Jackman's the one I'm holding a lot of hope out for and definitely seeing McAvoy and Fassbender um, get their roles back. We saw Maguire, Garfield, and um, um, uh, Matt Murdock, uh, Charlie Cox, uh, return to their roles. And if I, see, if I start to see people like Nicolas Cage, Ben Affleck, um, the original 2002 Hulk, uh, he's called Summit Banner. I can't remember his full name, but yeah, you get the point. Seeing all his characters join the MCU would be a dream come true. And I'll be sure before that comes out to watch every single Marvel product, Acolectra, Daredevil, all of them to make sure I am ready for whoever pops up. Who knows? You may have seen Wesley Snaps' Blade. No one has touched upon that because of the R8, I think. Will Deadpool rock up? X-Men is the most important thing for me in this film, as obviously I know there's a scene that's leaked with Professor X facing off against Strange, is it? Uh, so, yeah. Let me know what you think down below. When do you think the X-Men will rock up? I'm pretty sure they'll have their own movie by, like, 2027. I don't think there's an immediate reason to give them a film. I'm pretty sure the next batch of films that gets announced, an X-Men film, will be included. Uh, Fantastic Four film is on the way so the Fox deal is in motion so let's just wait and see what Doctor Strange has to offer in four months time thanks for watching as always, subscribe like, comment and enjoy all future content take care for now and goodbye as always